For the last throw, Cam's shoulder is a little bit sore, so we'll we'll go from there, and you know we'll see what the doctor has to say. Um, you know, after you get a chance to look at him. Ron, what went into your decision to take over the defensive play calling? I was helping with the defensive play calling all day. That's what I was doing. Sorry. I said I was helping with the defensive play calling. Okay. Are you calling? I was helping with the defensive play calling. For how long have you been doing that? I've been. I was helping with the defensive play calling. Is that something you started doing today? I noticed the play card is different. Was that different than you've been holding on the sideline throughout the rest of the season? That's the same. No, I've been holding that same type of play card for a long time. Cam interceptions were on how much of those were on him, how much of those were on protection? Well, I think a lot of it, we'll have to go back and look at it. But, you know, unfortunately, we lost the turnover battle today. Your general thoughts on why you lost this game other than the turnovers? Well, that and, you know, we gave up a, uh, a big penalty at, uh, up over the top, which, uh, you know, again, I, I have an opinion on that, but I can't share it. So, again, I just, again, you, you guys go out and fight and do the best they can. Why did you feel like it's helping defensive play calling today? Just a different set of eyes, another perspective. Uh, earlier this morning, some reports from CBS Sports came out about uh, David Tepper being frustrated with the loss. Now, at the end of the day, unless Mr. Tepper says it, I'm not going to address it, okay? So we can forget about asking me those questions, please. Ron, how tough to lose Greg when you did that point of the game? Well, it was tough. I mean, Greg had a good week of practice. You know, there were some things that were put in for him, and, and unfortunately, you know, we lost Greg. But I, I, I thought, um, you know, Ian got in and made some, you know, made some plays himself. So again, we got some young guys that just continue to get opportunities. Is Greg out? We'll see. Again, we'll let the doctors determine that situation for us. Ron, are you concerned about your job security? I, I am not going to address that question. Do not ask that question again, please. How do you get out of this hole? Win. That's the only way. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you, you give yourself a chance. You fight to the very end, you know, and um, you can, you know, look at it that the last few games we've played have come down to the last opportunities we've had, whether it be on offense or defense, and you just got to make a play. And that's unfortunately something that we haven't been able to do right now, make the play when it matters. Coach, what happened on that third down before the two-minute warning? Uh, you guys call a timeout, and then, uh, and then Cam got sacked on the third down. What, what led to that timeout? Um, Cam looked at something and called the timeout. He didn't like what he saw. So, again, he has that, he has that freedom to do that. So you'll have to ask him why he called it. Before that, you took another timeout there. Was that just? That was to settle in and try and get what we could feel was the best call we had. You know, we wanted to you know, really get a chance to think about it. And uh, that's, that's what we tried to do. Ron, well, we'll see. I mean, again, you know, for the most part, we've been able to get through it. But, uh, you know, he got really sore at the end of this game. And we'll see again what the doctors have to say about it once they get a chance to take a look at it. Is that a week-by-week week thing? It seems like some weeks it's really, really firing well. And in other weeks, he deals with a little bit more late-game soreness. Well, again, when you got to throw as many passes as he did this, this at the end of this game, that, that's going to happen. Was there something that led you guys to go away from the run game? It seemed like it was pretty successful in the first quarter. Well, trying to score. You know, uh, again, some of it has to do with, you know, the play calling, and, and, and coach is going to call what he believes is the best for our offense. And, uh, you know, I support his play calling 100%. You and Cam both agreed he was playing the best of his career early in the week. What was different today? Was it the pressure he was getting or what did you see? Today? Well, I'm going to look at the tape and, and make those. I'm not going to, you know, say something I, I'm not quite sure about. I'm going to make sure I get a chance to look at it all and get in a good understanding of it. Ron, your defense gave up an early touchdown right down the field. The impact of that? Well, I mean, you, you allow a score, it's an impact, period. It doesn't matter whether it's the first drive or the second drive or the third drive, just giving up a score has an impact. Um, you know, I just, uh, you know, we had some opportunities to get up the field, we didn't convert. So, again, we just got to shore that up, go back, and get that corrected. Mixing West and Vernon being a healthy scratch and mixing West in, does that go into what you were just talking about, about getting different stuff out there? Different stuff? No, absolutely, trying to create a, a little, little something different as far as our pass rush. We, we like, we like Wes's length. We like Wes's quickness off the ball as a three technique. And, and again, just feel that you know we were trying to mix something up on the inside. Did you think the two complemented I thought it did at times. I thought we had some opportunities at times. Um, you know, I, I will admit this though. I thought Jameis hurt us big time with his his, his mobility, um, tucking the ball and running a couple times. 
uh, converted some early first downs for them, um, and that kept us off balance a little bit as well. You know, we tried to stay in the rush lanes, and, and sometimes you get beat out of them. Um, you know, we, um, we mixed up the rush trying to, trying to trap him a couple times, which we did, um, but a couple times he got outside, and again, when he got outside, he was able to find the receivers open. Well, I'm not asking you to address that report, but do you, are you concerned at all that that kind of outside talk will seep into the locker room? I hope not, but again, you know, as far as I'm concerned, unless Mr. Tepper puts his name on it, I think that everybody needs to just calm down and, you know, let, the, let, let what's really being said or let the truth come out, you know, again. If, if anybody has a question, I think they should ask Mr. Tepper, but I don't think that's fair to sit there and say sources say. All right, cool. Thank you.